here we have a Huawei Mate 20 Lite with water damage so the phone was dropped in water let's open it up and see what we can do we are going to use a hair dryer for about four minutes and open the back cover after <clears throat> after heating up the back cover we use this suction cup to pull and try to work our way under the glass back cover so you have to be careful this will break it is made out of glass and if you are not careful it will shatter so try to have patience and you can always use a little bit of isopropyl alcohol to make the job easier do not go in too deep under the back cover because you don't want to damage flex cables and other parts be careful when opening up the back cover you have your fingerprint sensor that is tied uh, by a flex cable to the motherboard so here you have your flex cable and you don't want to break it as you can see we still have water here so this is never good Okay, we are going to disconnect the battery, disconnect the fingerprint sensor. Okay, so the ideal thing to do is to put your parts, your motherboard and your charging board maybe in an ultra ultrasonic cleaner. But I don't know if all of you have ultrasonic cleaners at home and in this case maybe it's already too late because we have a lot so let's see if we can zoom in more i don't know if it's clear so we have a lot of damage here okay this is the display ribbon cable that's also very damaged maybe we could replace these parts but does that mean the phone doesn't have other problems so this doesn't look bad this is also in pretty good shape but 
when water is involved you never know is in very bad shape we could try to clean using isopropyl alcohol but I don't think it will be enough so this is very very damaged so okay so cleaning this is not uh, enough that connector needs to be replaced we are going to get the motherboard out to check if there is uh, if there is more water damage at least if there is visible water damage so get this out, also this part, so hmm, we still have water here, so this is, I guess this is thermal paste, so this is thermal paste, it's not corrosion, but water got in all over the place so it doesn't look good let's see if we can get the this shield off let's get this off so we have water here but it doesn't look that bad so An ultrasonic cleaner is a good idea, but this is not going to fix itself. And also, maybe the display connector could be replaced. <laughs> but sometimes you replace the, the display connector thinking it will work and the display itself is uh, damaged by another... by some other problem so this phone needs to go to uh, another uh, repair level so this is not something I can do right now but it will go on the side and we are going to try to fix it unfortunately it's not that easy and this is not something I can do uh, right now I will try to keep you posted so for now it's only uh, uh, water damage check so it's not good 
I don't know if this video helped, but this is what I can do right now.